In all honesty, I just think this series is just going to be me continuously getting my ass whipped. Alright, let's hop into this thing. Hey, what's up, y'all? And welcome, welcome to Marty Plays. Now, if you hear from the craft, well, if you hear because I make craft videos and stuff like that, don't worry. I'm not getting away from the craft videos. I just wanted to try something different real quick and, you know, see how it takes, see how people like it, things like that. All right, basically, in a nutshell, what I want Marty Plays to be is... I want it to be a place where we come, we get to know each other, you know, a little get to know you session, you know, I tell you a little bit about myself, and you know, we go from there. Now, basically, what we're gonna be doing here in this series is playing a lot of games from my childhood. I consider myself a retro gamer, so when I'm not making craft videos, this is what I'm usually doing. So, um, I think I can try and make this as entertaining as humanly possible, right? All right, so without lie, without any further ado, let's hop into this thing. So what we're doing today is we're going to be playing Def Jam Fight for New York. Now, I consider myself a semi-decent player in this game. Like, I've amassed a bajillion hours of gameplay with this thing. Stop it. Get some help. So I wanted to try and do something a little different. Like, it's a bajillion gameplay videos online that show you how to do the story mode but i wanted to try something a little bit different here to kind of challenge myself and you know what not blah 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 crap so what i want to do is i want to take the worst player in the game or who i consider the worst player in the game and try and beat all of the main characters in this game so who i consider the worst player in this game is none other than the barber from this game, Stingray. Now we all see him, Stingray is ugly as hell, super old, and he's super slow. So that's why I consider him like one of the worst in this game to actually play with because it's like handling him is terrible. So let's try and give this some motivation, okay? Let's give our characters some motivation, you know, to go through these people. So, here's the story. So, like I said, Stingray's the barber. Let's say Stingray has been cutting people's head, cutting the rapper's head for years and years and years, and telling them and putting a bug in his head, hey, look, I'm also a rapper. Now, what kind of rapper Stingray might be? Well, what he looks like. The ones that go, you know, hip, hip, hop, a bit, don't stop, a pick, a pick, a pop, pop, pop. One of those. So he's trying to push this on these rappers, but they don't want to have anything to do with it, right? So they just listen to it, throw it in the trash, whatever. So Stingray is now fed up. He's fed up of trying to push his mixtape on these people. He's fed up of people not hearing him. So you know what? He's just going to whip everybody's ass that didn't give his mixtape the time of day, all right? And this is what I would like to call Stingray's revenge all right so let's hop into this thing let's hop into episode one of stingray's revenge all right so let's see who was gonna who we are going to face first dang i'm tongue-tied today jeez I don't want to add this to my score because I'm pretty much probably going to lose consistently. All right, so I know today that the last person I want to face is Fat Joe because Fat Joe usually causes people the most problem. All right, so let's go find Stingray and select his old ass. Bad. Like, look at him. Like, okay, so he's powerful, but then look at his, like, low power. It's super low, speed low, toughness low. I mean, he got a lot of charisma. I guess that's going for him, right? All right, so Stingray. And let's do Method Man first. 
And let's do the super bloody version so I feel like I did something. And let's go to the garlic. Alright, right, here we go. Here we go. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. Because I am terrified. Well, not so much of Method Man, because Method Man really wasn't that hard to beat in this game. So, let's just do this. Alright, here we go. Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah. No, 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 no. Alright, alright, get up. Come on, Stingray, get up. Method Man is giving me the business. Mm. And his blaze all the way up. Get up. Don't let him break. I tried. I tried to avoid this thing. I'm about to lose already, and it's only been like 49 seconds. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I probably shouldn't have said that Beth Man was the worst. Was wasn't really that good. All right, let's try this again. Come on. I got to get into the swing of it. I haven't played this thing in so long. Go, baby. Don't run. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Is that the Alabama slam? Terrible. Like, look at this pass. He got corduroy pants on. Come on. You don't want this method, man? Come on, you don't want it, baby? That's it. That's it, baby. That's it. Like I said, method, man. Breeze, baby. Breeze. All right, who we gonna pick next? We didn't dust method, man. All handle this guy. I mean, we beat him. Handled him sound kind of weird. Oh, I'm picking Stingray. What am I doing? Stingray. Let's do... Mm... Sean Paul. Sean Paul can usually give you, you know... An extensive ass whooping. So no, let me know who you think is the worst player in this game. If it's, let me know if it's Stingray to you, if it's Baxter, whoever, if it's Pockets. Let me know. I never understands what Sean Paul says. Jesus. Oh, he is tearing me up. Mm, get up, Stingray. I'm on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. He is parrying the hell out of me. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. 
He'll wipe his face so hard on the steel that it <laughs> sent that pipe flying off of it. Shoot. Alright. He'll just danced all over me. Mm. Alright, come on. Come on. You don't want nothing this young blood? I guess he wanted some of this. Come on. Alright, let's go. Let's go, baby. Here we go, 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 here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get up. No. Come on, don't let your blazing go. Oh. Damn it, Sean Paul. Yo, I can rumble. <laughs> Let's go, baby. No. Sean Paul is tearing me up. Yeah. All right, here we go. Alabama. That's what I'm talking about, Stingray. No! He will grab your wrist in a second. Sean Paul is tearing me up. Get up. It's about to be it. Get up. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Always lose the first one. Let's see if we can win this second. Don't give me no sass or I'll kick your ass. Your Look how old his saying is. Nope, got out of here. consider Sean Paul like one of the hardest players in this game to beat that is all right all right all right here we go here we go here we go get up get up this guy is f fast boy no Get up. 
You can't even haymaker his haymaker so slow. Get up. That's it. That's it, baby. That's it. I'm sorry. No, they doing that stupid rub face thing. That's it. That's it. You over with. You over with, baby. You over with, baby. He's so old, yo. I'm over here sweating like Stingray is terrible. Alright, so this final person is gonna be Fat Joe. Why I can't remember that I'm picking Stingray and I always pick all these other people. Let's go to Fat Joe's turf. Where is that? Is that? It's right here. Club Murder. Alright, so before we get into this Fat Joe's thing, remember I said I wanted this to be kind of a get to know you type of deal? So I'm going to share a little bit about myself so you guys can know me. And, you know, know what we do here on this channel, Jazz and Mark. Pretty much, we make craft videos. I'm a nerd. My fiance is a nerd. We do nerd stuff. So, most of our craft videos are centered around that. But what you don't know about me is that for about 10 years, I worked security for a retail store, right? So, I've seen a lot of stuff. I've witnessed things you couldn't believe. So throughout this series of Marty's Plays, I'm gonna share some of that with you. So I would like to call this story time. So the first story that I can tell you about me being security, I think it's so many, let me pick one. All right. So I can tell you about the first shoplifter that I ever apprehended, I, I ever caught. So like I'm fresh and new, I'm a newborn baby getting into this whole security game type of deal. So I'm walking around the store, you know, mind my business watching, you know, making sure nobody's stealing anything like that. So I go to the aisle where we keep the like high price diet things like diet pills and stuff like that. So I see this guy down there. And this guy is huge. Like, this guy is literally a bunch of circles. Like, he literally was built like Batista or Debo or basically his, he had hella vascular veins in his neck, like, bulging and popping, all right? And then it's me, right? I'm a young whippersnapper. I'm super little. Like, I'm like five foot nothing. And then it's this huge guy. But... It's my first day, I gotta let these criminals know who the boss, who was going down. So I go and I approach this guy, right? So I go approach the guy and like, this guy is huge. So me, I'm nervous as hell. I don't know what this guy gonna do. He could turn around and literally punch my lights out. Like literally knock me smooth out of my work shoes, right? So I go up to him. And as timidly as humanly possible, I say, sir, you can go ahead and, and put that back, right? So this guy turns around as if he heard the most annoying sound he ever heard in his life. Kind of like, like, kind of like that, right? So I say it again, and I put a little bit more bass in my voice to let this guy know, like, what's going on. So I said, sir. You can go ahead and put that back, right? So this guy got quiet. So I'm sitting there thinking, what am I going to do next? So he turns around and he continues to stuff merchandise into his jacket, right? So at that point, he once he finished stuffing the stuff, like it was like at least one or two boxes, but it was real fast. So it wasn't like I was just standing there watching this guy do it. Like he was like, 
like real fast and then he bolted out the store so me and the commotion of everything i'm hyped up i'm on adrenaline like well, you know what? i'm gonna go catch this guy i decide to follow this guy out of the store which is about the stupidest thing you could possibly do so i head out the store and i follow him across the parking lot now the manager is behind me so i'm following this guy so i say yo go ahead and put it back just drop it just drop it right so this guy literally stops in his tracks, he turns around to me, and he looked me dead in my eye. Now mind you, it's my first day. He looked me dead in my eye, he says, if you keep following me, I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna fuck you up. So, you know what I did? I stopped following because I ain't got time to get messed up. It's my first day. I need to come back and continue to work. All right, Jesus. What y'all think I am? John claude Van Damme or something? All right. So now let's get into this thing. Let's get into Fat Joe. What? What the fuck? Uh, let's fight Fat Joe. Now, hopefully everything goes the same that I... Get my ass whooped the first time, and then the second time, I beat him. So let's hopefully let's do this. Don't give me no sass. I'll kick your ass. Yeah, you it's like he got a tumor in his neck. Or something. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's go. Go fat Joe. No, he about to pedigree me. Yeah. Why does he gotta do it twice? I keep missing it because thing rate is so slow. Yeah. He about to do it again. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Stingray. Come on, Stingray. Let's do this, baby. Can't go stay, stay straight the whole time. That's it. That's it. Let's go. First time, baby. First time, baby. All right, y'all. So that's pretty much it. Like, cut me some slack. Like, this is my first time at this. So, you know, I know it was kind of rough. I probably was babbling on, but you know, cut me some slack. Um, like I said, whoever, who's your favorite character and who's your least favorite character? Leave it down in the comment section down below. Um, we're going to try and keep this series going. Um, next time we jump into Marty Plays, we're going to pick three other people and uh, see if Stingray can beat them. All right, we all... Uh, I think this was a good start. Like, I only lost twice. Um, Stingray is as terrible as I thought he was going to be. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, please hit that like and that share button. And head over to the Jazz and Marty Facebook page. We're always posting updates on DIY and craft videos. And like that. Oh, and Marty Play videos. And like that. This will be the end. Peace. Game.